tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Actually, this pandemic has really taught me how to slow down in life because after having such a busy schedule, you know, everything was put to a stop and, you know, it was just time to really reflect and figure things out. Um, but then now we're adjusting to this new normal and yes. it's something very difficult but something to look forward to. It's just really nice to be able to meet different artists and types of talents from everywhere in Metro Manila who are super into acting and who are super creative and are being able to be given this opportunity and platform even though there's a pandemic going on. Yes, and, and uh, we've become very creative online and people are now doing their own uh, video or like set cards and their videos and uh, it, it's interesting how people have adapted uh, in this pandemic situation to uh, try out new jobs. Growing up, I was already very dramatic just with what I saw and what I observed and when my mom would have tapings, I would always tag along and Unlike other kids who would play, I would be there watching and then right after the director would cut, I would just like copy them and then they'd all be so surprised. And I guess I always took that home and it was just something that I saw myself wanting to do also in the future. So up to date now, I just watch and observe and of course now when I act, I always ask for criticism and how I can improve and I'm very, I know, I'm very like, how did they do? Was it okay? Should I fix this like that like that? I'm very like that. Because they've been in the business, so Dubai, it's better to always want to improve. I always have that yes. feeling that I have to improve. I need to learn. Hello to everybody and I'm really, I'm really grateful if you remember me. From the 80s and 90s, yon. The famous song, Ang Huling El Bimbo, made her name a household uh, word. Everybody would sing that song and mention yeah. her name. So it, it's not, she's now a legend. She's now really a, a screen legend of Filipino film. One of, the, one of the things that struck me about your journey is the fact that you are one of the most resilient women I know. Because at such an early age, you underwent a tremendous trial in your life, the, uh, losing your young husband at such a young age. Both of you were only in your mid-twenties, right? When the tragedy happened? No, late twenties, thirties, and then the kids were yeah. really young. Yeah, the, the and, they were little baby. Sophie was a baby. Yeah. And same with, with your second daughter. Um, I'm not going to go so much into that, but what did that experience teach you? Uh, to get really serious and closer to God. Because I had nowhere else to run, you know. Um, you were empty emotionally. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, Financially, I was struggling. You, talagang, everything went blank and zero. So, I mean, no amount of friendship or a live human being could help me out, uh, uh, cope with it, no? And I don't know, for some reason, it was really a one-on-one -on -one and alone time. So I said, I'm just gonna, uh, there's, there's this, like, they're saying that he can do everything and nothing is impossible. Why don't I really take this seriously and try this venue? No, so that those three years were really a um, good time. It was really yeah. a good time, and and I'm glad. And I'm glad. I'm not saying I'm glad it happened that that he passed away, um, because I was really angry. No, why did you place me in a situation like this? The boy you said you're yes. you're you're a good God and stuff like that, and I still don't have the uh, the complete answers why it happened, but I have some answer right now why it happened, and it's really about the relationship being its character building, and he's in control. I'm not. So. Yes, and I, I believe that whenever we undergo a trial, um, 
we don't get over it. We go through it. It's like a tunnel. You have to go through it. But because the Lord is never away, He is in you. Your your okay. journey has taught you, and your life has now become an example of someone who has gone through the fire, emerged resilient, stronger, and more mature and more beautiful. And I truly admire that of you, Rina, because you're raising fantastic girls. You're you've kept that fire alive in you for your craft. You've went ahead and did your business and all that. And hey, look at you today. I, I walk very I really, really respect. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.